What is up, guys? We are here in Canada's very own Frostfire 2022. Oh, they've got it switched. Oh, switch? <laughs> oh, don't worry. They'll fix that. Go yeah, ahead later. Yeah, they'll fix it. Uh, but I am Jin, not Taito. Hello, I am Taito. It's been a really, really hot minute since I've been to any event whatsoever. It's really lovely to be here. I get to see everybody in person for the first time or for the first time in a couple of years. The event is hype so far. Everybody's so excited to be here. And like every other tournament, you know, for Poker Tournament DX, there's a great amount of showings, especially in the high level category. People coming from the Pokemon World Championships. We have, uh, we have Munster's very own Canada native. A uh, Jukum previous world champion, Mutator, coming in at second place for the world championships. Got me. Oh, and look at that. You have also, I believe, I'm not sure who's on the right, but on the left, you have uh, the one and only TO for the world championships. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm blanking right now. It's mostly <laughs> because I'm hot and I'm really like enjoying everyone so far. And I know he's a Weavile player for sure. Yeah, well known yeah. Weavile player. And Weavile is definitely a character that not many people believe in, but I'm definitely a believer myself. How about you? Oh, definitely. Weavile can really put on the pressure when it needs to. And that's, I think, been the debate among many Pokémon players. Is, is Weavile viable as a grappler, or is it sort of just mid-tier? But I'd say that if you're playing Weavile correctly, it can be quite the threat. And especially by the fact that there's so much utility that comes with Weavile. Being able to negate your... Uh, shut down some of your synergy gauge, being able to bring up their own support gauge with uh, high stance, and being able to do Hone's Claw as well. It's, it's, there's so many things that you could utilize for Weavile that can actually be put into a match that becomes a lot more dangerous during the mid game. Looks like both people are ready. Absolutely. Hey, if you couldn't already tell as well, Ricky, Ricky, yes, Ricky the third. How can I? Oh, I feel ashamed. <laughs> I feel ashamed for forgetting. He's got some lovely uh, eyeliner and mascara on. That is. Uh, oh, oh, done by who? That, done by yeah, who? I, I couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Oh, couldn't be you. No, oh, yeah, I don't know. You, you've been making some pretty really glamorous out here, so I've thank heard. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, straight into the match. We are looking at this side. We are going to the trial. Now, this is yes. This is something that I feel like is very common for Revile because again, like I said, being able to use Holmes Claw to get your support cage up as soon as possible, getting all the chips needed with Dragonite, which is most likely going to be the common pick for Ricky and Revile, it allows you to just tack on all that chip. You know, Revile already does great damage, but it's hard to get good enough damage in the mid screen. Most of the damage that Revile does is in the corner. But going against Shani is unholy evil. And I didn't see the support for the pick. He's gonna go with the Mew. Okay, that's quite interesting. Mew with Chandler, I can I can understand where that's coming from because Chandler is usually not quite frequently and Mew can give those stuff back. But it's all about RNG. Ricky going in with the fake out speed. Nice, being able to minimize out of the way, kind of getting some. Fading boosting. out that minimize too, absolutely. Yes. Ricky's Ooh. playing very patient. Eagle coming in with the pressure here. It looks like they're just feeling each other out. Ooh, but that's a little bit too far. Going to go in with a schwa slide. Back dash. That slide. was an incredible back dash. Really well done. And more pressure going on. Ricky See, third. this is where Chandler struggles against Weavile. It's because Chandler does have a lot of command counter attacks. Weavile is a counter attack crushing character. That's what he's built for. Weavile has definitely had a lot of things to deal with but so far, Uncle is not looking like holding on with a cry and a prayer, but he's 16 uh, HP, he's holding on for dear life, trying to maneuver around oh, field phase. Oh, oh, did not get in that small though, unfortunately. Frames did not last long enough. And like I said, we've all having so many moves that actually have a lot of multi-hit properties to eat out. Getting, eating out that smog right there was just unfortunate. Oh, that was a little bit scary there. Yeah, gonna deal with the ice puddle, <laughs> but unholy, you're gonna go ahead and take it like a champ. Nice, being able to recognize the hit on that Willow Wisp and trying to keep him out. Unholy. Nice and oh, of course the hex coming through. And the hex is gonna do extra damage because of that uh, attack debuff. Anytime when there is a debuff on the opponent's side, hex does extra damage, whether it be one or two. And unholy is showing such a different momentum from the last round. And he ended up pressing he the button at that moment. He's out towards the perfect here. Ricky gonna pop his burst, trying to get in. Ooh, that could be oh, a punish. No, yeah, no.
not toe to toe right now. They I are. think Eagle kind of picked up on what Ricky was doing first round, came back strong the second round. Let's see what happens third round. And what's great about this is that Unholy is keeping his synergy gauge for this round. He can activate it at any moment. And right now, Ricky is trying to find a way to get rid of it with that knockoff. Fully charged laser. It's not going to be enough distance. But oh. again, the multi hit properties of that homing is going to deal with the smoke. Minimize. Oh. Not being able to avoid it. That's going to be a ground. And here we go. Hex coming to the play. But Ricky activating his burst. Getting a little bit of a burst. Unholy after the burst. <laughs> All right. Setting up. Ooh, yeah, Just that... narrowly avoiding the Hex. Oh. 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 Uh, uh, uh. And that's going to be two debuffs on his side. It's going to attack on a little bit more chip. Ricky did with not that press debuff. the button. Shielding that burst. And that shield looking pretty right. Oh. Eagle takes the first game narrowly with that full screen laser. And that was definitely going to be rough there. That shield was definitely crimson red. Oh, and yeah. a fully charged laser would have either broke it or just, you know, take away all that gray light that would have went into the next round. So it was up to uh, Ricky there to either go take to the skies, try to find a way to approach, or try to defend himself on the ground and just deal with losing any type of first meter he could have gotten. Yeah, and those two players, you can tell they know what they're doing against their opposers. So what I was seeing a lot of was that we ball counter crush play that we know so well. But then with Eagle, we were seeing, I see your counter crush, and what I'm going to do is red armor on one of these things too and stay full screen. It was very, very good play from both pl players. You can tell they know what they're doing. Unholy was mostly able to, you know, reduce the amount of CAs he was doing, moving around, and here we go again, Beyblade, gonna try to maneuver around the stage, trying to see if he can catch him slipping, because agility can go through these projectiles, and at a moment's notice, it's just like that, being able to close the distance is Ricky, another knockoff, that's gonna take off two amounts of synergy. Oh my god, I'm not Unholy synergy, but right now he got it a lot back. He's practically 60% of his synergy gauge and a, cr a crit buff. Oh, that just missed the hex there. Yep. And here comes a nice combo from Ricky here. Wall splat. Get more damage. Nice. nice. And finishing it off with the knockoff again, trying to prevent him from getting his synergy gauge sooner than he can. Projectiles, Beyblade getting Ooh. caught again, and they're neck and neck in synergy gauge. Oh, that made him guess. Wall splat. No, it's not. Just oh. Oh, oh my God. And again, Just the multi hit too much properties. Active range. Yes. Exactly. That move is so tricky to CA properly unless you're doing it right from the beginning. You are going to get smushed out. Yes, exactly that. Gonna go in with a snipey. I'm surprised he actually went for a different support here, Ricky. But you know what? That's gonna be up to him, and that's gonna be a great amount of damage going in. Another knockoff hitting. That man is four for four Keep on these the knockoffs. Doing that classic side Y. Alright, again, we were around. I do believe that was a whip but he's going in. He's trying to stop activating him from the activating burst. burst. Yes. Now, he has to watch out. Yes, there we go. Gonna get some of his shield health back there. What? I don't believe that's gonna, gonna be a punish. No, no, he's able to block. Yes. Oh, small. Gonna knock him back. Ooh. That was such a good prediction right there. My goodness. Hey, right now, trying to throw out some of these moves. Ah! I know it was kind of hard to see those rounds because of the name change right there, but we can get that fixed up in a minute. Uh, but now, going neck and neck, unholy, one for one against Ricky. Now, so far, oh, do we have another support change? Are we going to change out support here? So far, it didn't look like Snivy was doing much. It just looked like that he was, in case, you know, uh, Weavile, either, uh, not Weavile, either Shane takes this guy, a blaster? <laughs> in this game. If you can talk to me, hey, I say you can do something with Blastoise. Blastoise, slow, clunky. Let's see how this matchup goes because I know that Blastoise does not do well against Weavile due to the speed disadvantage. Yes. All right, going to be able to take to the skies. Ricky, homing attack. Going in the air, going to be a fully charged, but it won't be able to get in. That's a fully charged uh, CA, and look at that. Look how much damage just a single hit of CA does. Just walk up, grab this man. Yeah, scouting it out. Seeing scouting that a little, it out. Yeah, for sure. Plus, rapid spin. Gonna do it again. Ooh, shout. Oh, shout! 
Ooh, rapid spin. Another rapid hit. spin. Nice. Combo time, combo uh, time. Okay, it's probably gonna just keep him up just for a little bit while he's able to set up and get a little bit more chip out of distance. Rapid spin, did it hit him on the oh, end? Indeed, especially with that rage on Absolutely. deck, fully charged, could activate burst right here. He's Rapid spin. Out with six HP. Will he be able to crush it out? Blastoise did have first, did not have first anymore after that combo that Weebow stole that first. Emolga coming out, got that block through. Go neck and neck with that HP, because uh, uh, the high HP of Blastoise, it's hard to get off, especially for Weavile, who doesn't do so much damage mid-screen and mostly doing more damage in the corner. It was rough to get off the last bit of that HP. Absolutely. But right here, Unholy showing that he's got the Shell Shock in his grasp right there. Weavile's tiny arms will be the death of him. <laughs> All right, activating burst early. Who wants to try to end it? Quagsire, he can grab this. Yes, he can. Good grab, good grab. All right, we're going to get a nice amount of open right here. Going to set up those, uh, the ice pool. But right now, we don't want to deal with it. Rapid spin again. Oh, he He's going to burst. Spin. Is it going to hit? It will hit. All right, it's going to reduce a lot of unholy burst. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What about percent left? He's going to need right to get there. in. Ricky laying on the pressure. Eagle trying to get in. Getting rid of those projectiles. Dragon Pulse is going to be tracking there. Rapid Yes, it can. Oh my gosh. Right. Oh, he caught him. He really caught him. You wouldn't believe that Blastoise is a power character, but he is. Oh my gosh. All right, throwing in the projectiles. Water bubbles. Setting up shop here. Has Quagsire on deck. Trying to make it a hail of bullets just for you to go through. And another Eagle showing he's spin. got no fear whatsoever. He knows what he's doing with this character. Rapid spin. Gonna attack off Look the ship at with all that. At, a at the last moment, it's gonna be last game, last round. And right now, they both have about 80% meter. Whoever gets this next round here, whoever gets this skill phase, is gonna have their full burst. Right, setting up shop. Oh, oh he's frozen! And that's gonna be a knockoff. Gonna put him further away from his burst attack. Quagsire, he can grab this too. And nice, he's getting, Ricky. He's trying to use these Quagsire uh, not to his advantage right here. He's gonna set up shop with the ice pool. All right, moving around. Catching him again. Knockoff, no that's dice. And Blastoise can't punish that. And Good nice, grab. quick agility change to actually grab that CA at the moment's notice. That and he does have the synergy time. down above. He's going to have a hard time getting that burst back. But right now he's trying to maneuver around it. No, no rapid spin to confirm. Look at this movement. Oh, my God. All right, he does have his burst. Ricky, smelling blood in the water. Watch activate his. A counter, a counter burst. Doesn't want to deal with it. That's minus. Did he press? No, but plus frame. Trying to find a way yeah, in and on the zone. Gonna attack on a little bit of chip. Oh, look at that shield. He's looking rough for wear. Uh, 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 Here it comes. Uh, he's got his little fisties. Uh, uh, nice. Got that wall spot too. A little bit of extra damage. Dragon Pulse. This is gonna look kind of scary for Ricky there. Gonna add on a little bit of Quagsire just for oh. distance from chip. It's not gonna matter too much, but Water Spout can add on a lot of chip if you're able to hit it on block. 18 seconds that left. That was really good waiting on Ricky's part. Ooh, oh knock off, chasing down the back dash. You tried to oh, grab me? You tried to grab me? <laughs> on my pressure? On my plus frames? How dare you? Ricky closing it out. You're in going a to have notice. the gall. You really <laughs> think so. <laughs> but man, that was looking scary there. Unholy. Looking like he. Oh. But you know what? If there's anything I love to see, it's some Blastoise play. Absolutely. Like, that was well done by both players. Really hype match first time here. Yeah, and we, that was just the first match. We, like, especially with an uncommon pick as Blastoise, you're always going to find hype in someone who actually can utilize Blastoise to his best ability. And right there was a good showing of how Blastoise could be used. Especially Absolutely. since, uh, for one, that's supposed to be considered a really tough matchup for Blastoise. Yeah. Weavile well is fast, a very fast character. Being able to have so many multi-hit moves is going to deal with a lot of CAs. Being able to close the distance at a uh, like fast pace with agility or 6Y in dual phase. So 
at that point, I would say Unholy did a really good job. Absolutely. You're not going to miss him too much. He's going to be down in the lower bracket, and Ricky's going to move on up. Exactly. And I think the best part of watching that match was knowing that Blastoise is not a popular pick. A lot of high tier players, a lot of people who do really, really well in the game are like, yeah, I'll play Blastoise, but just because, right? It's not necessarily a serious pick. And you wind up seeing some really hype Blastoise play. Yeah. People can actually utilize the character really well. And even though he's considered low tier, he's still viable. And I think that's the Very cool thing so. about Blastoise too, is that even against a poor matchup, you saw how well Eagle was doing. It's all about the way that you practice and the way that you handle the character. Exactly that. Whether you're a character specialist or you have it as a counter pick, you're able to utilize anything you can when you actually learn a character uh, enough. And I do believe we're going to probably have another Weavile showing coming up. I believe it's going to be Peta Guy versus Slice and Dice. Is Peta here? Yes, Peta Guy actually is here, yes. Oh my gosh, I didn't even say hey. Uh, he, was, he was over there in the setup uh, towards the front actually uh, warming up a bit. And I actually played some matches against him uh, oh, yeah. when he was here too. And it's always great to see Weavile, I promise you. Like, like characters like Blastoise, Blaziken, Weavile... Um, Guard of War, these are, oh, Suicune, those are characters that are mostly often enough considered as, like, underrated, but then when there's a character specialist who actually comes in knowing how to use that character, it changes everyone's it mind. It does. And absolutely. I love seeing that. They'll be like, yo, this character, this, this character could do this. And Peter been out here grinding, too. Like, he's yes. been practicing this character. Practicing in the lab, trying new combos, trying new pressure techniques. Peta is dedicated to Weavile, and, and it'll be really interesting to watch him play today. And if there's anyone who I consider to be a lab monster when it comes to Weavile, it's definitely going to be Peta. Absolutely. But it looks like we're not going to get that satisfaction just yet. We're going to have Oreo, who's on the right side of the screen, and I'm not sure who's on the left side, but I'm sure we're going to find out in a moment. Uh, Oreo, uh, he was just telling me how he's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm Oreo too. Not the well-known Oreo, you know, who used to be Tri-State, well-known uh, Mewtwo, uh, yeah. Mewtwo player.